लक्ष्य संपूर्ण स्वास्थ्य का इन दिस द नाइन्थ ईयर ऑफ द बनेगा स्वस्थ इंडिया कैंपेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हेल्थ फॉर ऑल दैट इंक्लूड्स इंडिया मोस्ट वालबल एंड मार्जनलाइज कम्युनिटीज मेनी ऑफ हूम हैव लिटल और नो एक्सेस एंड अवेयरनेस अबाउट देयर राइट्स इंक्लूडिंग टू हेल्थ and this has a huge impact on the quality of their lives so when we talk about leaving no one behind and health for all are these communities included are they a part of this last month we brought to you the story of the kalbilia tribe to the Amrava Tiger Reserve in Telangana to meet a particularly vulnerable tribal crew the Chenchu tribe considered one of the earliest settlers the Chenchu tribe is a traditional hunter gatherer community that has lived in the Nalamala hills for centuries We are in Telangana's Amrabad Forest Tiger Reserve, which is the second largest tiger reserve in India. We're going to be meeting the Chenchu tribes, who are one of India's oldest vulnerable primitive tribes. Let's try and understand how different the Chenchus are from who live in the forest to those who moved to the outside villages from the forest. What are the challenges? We need to learn from them how they coexist with nature. So let's go meet them. Amrava Tiger Reserve is one of the largest tiger reserves in India. It is part of the Nalamala Forest Tract, part of the Eastern Ghats chain. It is located in an area that is traditionally inhabited by the Chenchus. History shows that the Chenchu tribals are the first dwellers of the Andhra region even before the Dravidians. One of India's oldest aboriginal tribes over the years the traditional relationship with their forests and natural resources has been altered in a serious and perhaps irreversible way maga pro ma pedalu chaala mandi gadda tena ee maatrame teesukeni tinadam teesukeni tinadam malla evaraina kottulu vesina kuda adiki payi dorkaga sadula koolu peyaru baga सदल को आ रोज वाल चूस्ते ये डोकार अट्ठाई अंत दुरकोद दुर्कूंट The involvement and collaboration between different stakeholders is starting to bring change for the Chenchu community. The Chenchus live in harmony with the forest and have often been regarded as its protectors. Their knowledge of the forest has resulted in them working closely with forest departments. They are tribal people who are like Chenchu family. They've been here for ages and uh, they know how to coexist with the nature. they really are associated with the nature they understand importance of it and they also preserve it since we have lot of forest work that happens uh, it's not compulsory that uh, the, all the work is done by the forest department certain work can be given to the people so although department can do we mainly try to see that the people who are living inside the forest will have some amount of work like you know uh, we involve them in as you know there are a lot of uh, tribal people who are our watchers who are guarding the forest and we also have lot of other work like you know they we have base camps which are only given to the chenchu tribal people so these base camps are to you know safeguard the place and also to protect the place and see to that nothing goes wrong in the forest so these type of jobs are given to them we will never involve outsiders but we make sure that our tribal people which are near to the place if suppose we are in malapur right now and there is lot of work that has to be done in this area so we make sure that the people from this village are engaged and they can do the job for us One of the 
question to tribal people who said he's really happy with the way you know the forest authorities as well as foundations NGOs are working with them inside the forest and we have with us the DFO of the Amrabha Tiger Reserve Rohit Gopiti thank you so much for speaking with us what is the role if I can ask you that the Chenchu tribe is playing in conserving the forest reserve Chenchus have been in this area probably when the forest have began and many of us today are in a way migrants to the area so changes have been in this area they are they have the expertise of the area so any conservation activity or protection activity or any livelihood act activity without them being in the central picture it will is bound to fail and i think they are the most important factor or agents to get to where we want so you would have to provide them jobs you would have to create awareness in them you would have to uh, improve their health outcomes, educational outcomes, make them more employed, educated, make them part of a conservation. Without them, Amrava Tiger Reserve does not exist. It is that simple. When we talk about deforestation, environment degradation, climate change, uh, does it make a huge impact on the food security of the you know, Chenchu tribes living inside? Because they are primarily, they do rely on the forest for most of what they eat and their livelihood. The resources in forests are getting reduced over the time. It could be of many reasons, climate change is one of the reasons, over exploitation is one reason, uh, repeated fire which leads to soil erosion is one reason and once the quality of the green cover depletes across the time, they are going to face depletion of uh, water availability for the plant and once people suffer, automatically tiger reserve suffers. Is that so the connection is there? The welfare of the tiger reserve lives in the welfare of the people. Once people are happy, economically self-sufficient and not dependent too much on the forest, the forest will continue to survive. The day where uh, people would uh, suffer in their welfare and that is when they would start depending on the forest and that is when you would start suffering. So, so we, our work is as much as outside in the forest, as much as it's inside the forest. In a way to prevent, uh, to create inviolate, inviolate in a manner where people should stop depending on the forest lesser and lesser, you would have to do a lot of work outside forest to, for that to happen. Traditionally, the Chenchu tribal community has relied on the forest for their livelihood and depends on nature. But in many ways, life for the Chenchu revolves around the struggle to survive. So Polo Foundation and the forest authorities are working together on initiatives that can help improve their lives. They are the ones that are closest to nature. If we cannot understand and work with them, our barrier with nature will always, uh, will never be fulfilled. So what we are trying to do is to actually create a holistic program that's scalable throughout India for communities to live in partnership with the planet. So I think that's very, very important. Once you give these communities financial stability, build a trust with them, then understand what their needs are and bring wellness into their life, automatically their health improves. So we've seen that giving them a bit of education and empowering them has a huge impact on their health. So that's what we are doing in a nutshell with respect to total health for the Amrabad Forest Reserve and I'm very very proud to say that you know with this project we've actually given these women a sense of livelihood, a sense of ownership and as a byproduct the tiger population has actually grown in the reserve. When we come back from a short break we will meet the Chenchus who are living outside the forest. Ram. This is one of the villages where the Chenchu tribes have come and started living once they left the interiors of the forest. While the people living here are educated, they are more aware, they are learning livelihood skills, but that's also because many stakeholders have held their hands and are helping him, them to improve their livelihoods. Here, Apollo Foundation, along with the forest authorities and many more NGOs have taken a step forward to improve the lives of the Chenchus living outside the forest. Raj Lakshmi, whose family moved out of the forest nearly two decades ago to Macharam. Unlike the Chenchus, 
who live in the forest area, Raj Lakshmi, is a graduate. A mother of three children, Raj Lakshmi worked as a daily wage laborer, but after being trained by Apollo Foundation's green skilling program, she earns about 10,000 rupees a month. Inta kamundo pani ki matti pani ki vele dani. Ipra Apollo Foundation unchi candle jayadam, ella thayar jayala neerpin chendro. In inflo kali unda kunda pani jayadam alla. Andalo pani ke sunano candle jayadam. Mag chala istanga undi. Apollo Foundation lo orke jayadam alla double or avada alla nelak nelakko happy ka undi. Skilling initiative was started by the Apollo Foundation in collaboration with the Forest Department to empower women like Raj Lakshmi. The Arjava initiative works with indigenous tribal communities like the Chenchu to create locally sourced products and provide a livelihood. To make the women more financially independent, we started a green skilling initiative and all the produce comes from the waste or something around that forest itself. So the women are making products, they've started with a candle. The green skilling initiative is very, very strong to empower these women and these communities. The Amrabha Tiger Reserve has also established a packaging centre at Manano where local women, especially Chenchus, make jute bags and eco-friendly cups and plates. We live in the jungle, we feel very good. Our people love the animals and we love them too. They eat all the plastic and they die. So, after plastic, we have a jute bag and we have a jute bag for a year. We have to come here and we have a jute bag for a year. 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 उसमें हमको बहुत दिक्कत लगता था। इसमें आने के बाद बहुत अच्छा लग रही। Like Rajesh, the Chenchu's tribe understands their forest well and are committed to protecting their environment. The tribe plays an important role in the management and conservation of the reserve. Most significantly, two Swatch Sevaks who are part of the plastic segregation unit. In this Tiger Reserve, there is a national highway passing, which uh, I mean from Hyderabad to Sri Salem. So many travellers, they discard the plastic, I mean plastic of various sorts. So there will be a lot of issue for the wildlife, because the wildlife, if at all, it feeds on the plastic. Like there are high chances of digestion issues and, uh, and it also leads to the eventual death of the animals. We have uh, 12 such uh, swat sevaks, so they will be, uh, I mean, going along the highway from morning 9 a.m. onwards. So, so, they, so they'll be collecting the plastic of various sorts and they'll be depositing in the plastic bags which, have, uh, I mean, which you can see over this. So basically, after collecting the uh, plastic, we segregate into various things. We segregate this into bales and these bales are shifted for further uh, recycling purpose. In order to achieve the goal of luxurious Sampurna Swastika or health for all, especially for the marginalized, it requires a synchronized effort from key stakeholders working together. The Apollo Foundation, along with forest authorities, has been working closely with the community for three years to ensure better health, create employment opportunities and empower the Chenchu tribe. Geographical isolation, primitive agriculture practices, socio-cultural taboos, poor health-seeking behavior leads to undernutrition. While health is a basic right for all, this indigenous community, like many others, suffers from severe malnutrition. Osteoporosis and gastritis is common due to poor diet. Malnutrition, skin infections and addiction patterns are also health challenges within the community. Recent survey reports have shown that more than half of tribal children under five years of age in India are stunted and wasted and fail to meet their potential for growth and development. The problem is extremely severe in the children of the Chenchu tribe and is potentially the biggest threat to their development.
poor knowledge and practices of the mothers regarding the infant and young child feeding practices. As per the WHO initiative norms, they have to initiate the breastfeeding within one hour of the delivery. And same time, they have to give exclusive breastfeeding. The children doesn't need even water and any food or even during first six months. They have to follow this one exclusive breastfeeding for six months, and they have to initiate the complementary feeding once they are completed six months of age. These are the very important. Same time, they are they should feed the children the colostrum, the first secret of best milk. It has a rich in micronutrients, particularly vitamin A. Nagama was suffering from anemia. She was always tired but didn't know why, because she had simply never visited a doctor. The camp conducted a battery of tests where her anemia was detected. Now she's being treated with simple iron capsules and feels much better. Naku Jaramastana Jaramastante Agaraktam Takamundam Vala Jaramuchine. And the two are the same as the Madam Wall, 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 the Madam the Madam the it's, it's not purified and enemy cases patients not taken proper diet and we supply them medication and they should maintain properly but they are not reconsulted at clinic or feedback actually I'm also Chenchu families so my family stay it's outside forest outside uh, inside forest people they don't have proper education and they, they, don't, they don't have knowledge also on it studies. What is the benefit of studies? They don't know. Uh, we should conduct awareness programs in tribal areas. To ensure no one is left behind, Apollo's total health program is trying to fill the gap with regular health camps in the forest as well as satellite clinics in the villages outside the forest reserve. Total Health holds regular sessions on hygiene awareness in the forests. The program has set up a geriatric nutrition centre where senior citizens are given hot, nutritious midday meals free of cost. Another important aspect is the provision of menstrual hygiene education and awareness along with distribution of reusable sanitary napkins. Even with respect to menstruation, even with respect to hygiene, overall health and well-being has definitely improved here for the women. And they also must take care of their health and their family's health. When we have our camps in different parts of the forest, that's when they come and then they are so enthusiastic about their health. They really, really want to know more. This shows that they are very, very bothered about their health. The government does a lot. I'm very, very impressed with what the government has done. There are also a lot of schemes that these people don't know about. So what our main job with the Arjava warriors, we empower them with education on uh, definitely healthcare because that's our core competence, but also about how to preserve the planet and um, hygiene. And we want them to become champions of the community they are in so that that community can thrive. You know, the community is much stronger. We've seen uh, the recovery rates are better. We have research to show it. And we've seen that the community is more tight-knit and more health-oriented in this way. According to McKinsey's impact assessment of the total health program in Amrabad, there has been 100% improvement in accessibility for tribals inside core forest areas through health camps. 100% of the people showed an improvement in biophysical markers due to meals provided at total health nutrition centers. And 60% of people reported reduction in body pain after enrolling in yoga classes. Despite the challenges of the Chenchu community, a distinguishing factor of their tribe is gender equality in terms of rights. Both men and women go out to work and share domestic responsibilities equally. Lingaya and Lingama 
belong to the Chenchu community and live inside the Amrabad Forest Reserve. From the very beginning, they have shared duties and responsibilities equally in managing their home and children. I am doing this as well as I am doing this. నా భార్య ఏమో ఇప్పుడు ఆర్డిట్ సంస్థకి వెళ్ళి వాళ్ళు రాగి సంకటి పిండి గుడ్లు అలాంటివి ఇస్తారు అవి పిల్లలకి పిల్లలకి మిసలు వాళ్ళకి అందరికీ దోత అలా అట్లా పోస్తుంటుంది వాళ్ళు తాగుతూ ఉంటారు ఆ పని చేస్తుంది ఆ పని అయిపోయిన తర్వాత మళ్ళీ వచ్చి మళ్ళీ ఆర్డిట్ పనిలో ఇక్కడ గర్భవతులు ఉన్న మిసలు వాళ్ళు ఉన్న వాళ్ళ ఆటోలన్నీ చెక్లు చేయాలన్నా హాస్పిటల్కి ఎక్కడ ఉంటే అక్కడ తీసుకెళ్తుంటుంది ఇంకా ఆమె ఆ పని మీద చేస్తే వెయ్యి రూపాయలు ఇస్తారు వాళ్ళు జీతం లేక ఇంకా మా మా భార్య పని చేస్తే మళ్ళీ కరువు పని కూడా చేస్తూనే ఉంటుంది మేము కరువు పని చేసి అయిపోయిందనంటే ఏదో ఏమన్నా ఎక్కడన్నా ఇక్కడ ఏదైనా పనులు ఉంటే కూలి పనులు ఏమన్నా ఉంటే కూలి పనులు పోయి కూలి పనులు చేస్తాం ఇంకా మామూలుగా ఇది కాకుండా అడవులు ఏమన్నా ఉంటే మాకు కావాల్సిన పనులు మా శలక పనులు మా మొగజన్నలు వేసుకోవాలి జన్నలు వేసుకోవాలి శలకలు శుభ్రం చేసుకోవాలన్నది శలకల కోసం తిరుగుతూ ఉంటాం కలిసి ఇద్దరం పని చేస్తాం మంచిగానే ఉంటాం ఇద్దరం కలిసి కలిసి చేస్తాం ఏ పని నాపినే ఉంటాం మంచిది అప్పుడు తాగేది కానీ ఇప్పుడు ఏం తాగడం లేదు డాక్టర్స్ ఎలా అనుకుంటున్నారు నాట్ జస్ట్ ఇన్ ద ఫారెస్ట్ ఏరియా మెంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద చెంచు ట్రైబ్ లివింగ్ ఇన్ ద విలేజెస్ హ్యావ్ ద సేమ్ బిలీఫ్ ఆఫ్ ట్రీటింగ్ ద పార్ట్నర్ యాజ్ అన్ ఈక్వల్ ద చెంచూస్ ఆర్ లీడింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద ఫ్రంట్ వెన్ ఇట్ కమ్స్ టు టీచింగ్ ద రెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద కంట్రీ లెసన్స్ ఇన్ జెండర్ ఈక్వాలిటీ అండ్ ఉమెన్ ఎంపవర్మెంట్ synchronized efforts from key stakeholders working on the ground like we've seen for the chenchu community can help india move towards the ultimate aim of lakshya sampurna swasthika in our next episode we look at another such initiative that is bringing healthcare to india's most vulnerable and marginalized communities <laughs>